So prisons are always political, but the decisive factor in what makes a person a political prisoner is actually their consciousness and their will, their ability to align their behavior with their consciousness, right? Um, and, and just because we're also talking about PPs, let me say that there's some key reasons why we need to support political prisoners. One is a moral and ethical reason, right? They sacrifice blood and bone to advance our struggles and our movements, and uh, we're, we're morally obligated to support them because of that. But there are also strategic and tactical reasons, right? Those strategic and tactical reasons include Supporting political prisoners allows for continuity of struggle. Like the brother from, who was talking about Palestine said, you know, political prisoners are the compass of our movement. I think that's a beautiful way to say it. And it allows for a continuity of struggle within a context where the state is trying to intentionally interrupt the intergenerational transmission of radical knowledge. Supporting political prisoners, and Curbfest is a beautiful example of this, also is a tool of political education to politicize more people, to get them involved in struggle in a deeper way. Um, and also, supporting political prisoners sends a message to future generations that if you are willing to take up struggle at a high level, that you will be supported, that you will not be forgotten. It incentivizes struggle for future generations. So these are the reasons why we need to be supporting political prisoners. 